Welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Hello and welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Now today we're going to choose a book from the Cocky's Circle Little Books Collection. So as you can see I have a few of these. I even have some more behind my chair. But these ones are today's bundle. Let's have a look. And this one pokes out for me right at the back here. Because this one has lots of colours on it. So let's have a look. This one is called The Rainbow Race and it's been written by Janine Scott and the illustrations or pictures have been done by Philip Webb. So let's have a look and see what The Rainbow Race is all about today. So we have our, our start, so we must be at the beginning of our race. One finds sunny shower day. Hmm. I think that's a pun there because I made a little mistake. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes when they read out loud. So my mistake was I put fine in and it should have been funny. So let's start again. One funny, sunny, showery day. We looked for the rainbow highway. Where colourful creatures zoom to and fro along the seven lanes of the rainbow. Is that beautiful rainbow? So every colour, they're saying, is a race lane. We watched very closely and tried to spy a rainbow race taking place in the sky. And then we saw in the red lane, a red orange orangutan. He was racing along in a red minivan, like a little bus. And in the orange lane, the orange sheep, zooming along in an orange jeep. In the yellow lane, a yellow crab, zipping along in a yellow cab. For those that don't know what a cab is. Maybe you would think it's a taxi. In the green lane, a green hammerhead scooting along on a moped. Is this a moped? It's a motorised push bike, like a mo moped. In the blue lane, a blue budgerigar shooting along in a blue motor car. In the indigo lane, an indigo duck. Dashing along in his indigo truck. Purple. Or in this case, the violet lane, a violet walrus. And he's dashing along in a violet Minibus. And as the creatures rushed along, they sang the Rainbow Races song. The seven colourful rainbow lanes appear when the sun shines after it rains. Each has a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo or violet sheen. The colourful creatures went over the bend, so we followed them to the rainbow's end, where, we're, where a special prize at this colourful place went to the winner of the rainbow race. I wonder what's at the end of the rainbow. Maybe you know. Let's find out what's at the end of the finish line. Here we go. Here's our finish line. That something special was bright and bold. It was glimmering, glittering pot of gold. The yellow crab gave a winning wink. The rainbow champion was tickled pink. In other words, he was very quite happy he won the pot of gold. 
<laughs> it's our rainbow race story for today. We've had some rain the last night, not much, but a little bit. Maybe we should have looked and see if we could have found a rainbow. Maybe next time it rains near your place, you can find out and see if you can find all those colours in the sky of the rainbow. And while you're looking, if you look very, very carefully, maybe you can see a rainbow race going on in the sky. Or maybe you could try and run to the edge of the rainbow and find your own pot of gold. Who knows what's out there in these adventures. Well, I'll leave you today to think about your next adventure and I'll meet you back here again on story time. That was a great story we chose today and if you want to hear it again just press the replay button and don't forget to meet me here next time for another classic adventure into the land of stories. Press subscribe and the bell icon for notifications so you can see new stories when they get posted and see my channel with its playlist of stories for you to choose from in Marnie's library. Press the thumbs up or the like button if you like the story today and comment if you want to and I will reply when I can and we'll talk about our story.